Good morning, New Life. I am Greg, and we have the joy again of turning into 1 John. We're starting a new chapter today, chapter 4. Now, all the way through 1 John, he has uh, poetically made these contrasts. There's light, and there's darkness. There's love, and there's hatred. There's truth, and there's falsehood. And he's going to come back to that theme of truth and falsehood in this passage, not only what we're going to do today, but then as he carries it out through the chapter. And he's going to start by gathering, gathering people around and say, Beloved, you have the Spirit of God in you. He wants us to remember that. You and I, we have the Spirit of God in us. But there are other spirits behind every statement, behind every group, behind every song, behind every movie, behind every interaction we have in life. There's a spirit. And sometimes it's the spirit of God, and sometimes it's not. So let's dive into the passage. We're going to read these, uh, just the first three verses. And I'm going to go verse by verse. But verse one says this, Beloved, do not believe every spirit. But test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. So, beloved, you have the Spirit of God in you. But not every spirit is from God. And so you have to test the spirits. You have to test to see whether it's from God. And he, he talks, he brings up this, this false prophet. There are people who who go around saying things and doing things. And some are real and have the Spirit of God in them, and some don't. We have to tell the difference. So I I, uh, I grabbed, I don't have one of these very often. It's a $50 bill. To be honest with you, I, I don't know um, how to tell this is real. I'm not, I'm not a professional. It looks real. It, it has color. It has fabric. Um, I could certainly pay attention to any of the uh, uh, of the easy falsehoods if it was smudged or if the paper wasn't real. To to know what a counterfeit is, you have to know what the real is. In fact, you don't study all the counterfeits; you study the real one. But he's saying you, you have the Spirit of God in you, and you have to dwell with Christ so intimately that you know the Spirit so well that you can test the spirits behind false prophets, behind false things in, in culture. You have to be able to see. So I, a couple other fake things here. So I have this, this coach bag. Um, I, I bought like six of these. I don't remember exactly how many I bought, but um, I was in a mall of fake things uh, on a trip in China, and, and uh, these were really cheap. Coach bags have never been cheaper. It's not real. Um, I can't tell the difference. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I told the people I gave them to, well, they knew that. They knew there's not a chance in the world I'd buy coach bags. Um, Deborah gave me this. It's a little piece of jewelry. And it, this is, it, it's real. So this, this pin is real. Um, but the jewels are not real. In other words, it's a fake, so to speak. I don't know if this is supposed to be a fake amethyst or what the, but you can even tell it's got some scratches on it. I could tell that if I looked at it. So John brings us in like children. He says, children, you, you have the spirit of God in you. But that's not the only spirit in this world. There are false spirits all over. And there are false spirits in false prophets. And he says, he says here in the first verse still, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. In other words, this, this isn't a make-believe thing. This isn't just an idea. This is real right now all around us. There are fake spirits and there are false spirits. And as Christians, we have the spirit of God in us. We have to pay attention to what's out there. By this, verse 2 continues, by this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. 
And verse 3, every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard was coming and now is in the world already. What are you and I to do with this? The Antichrist is as real today as it was in John's day. The false prophets are as real today as they were in John's day. In fact, I would propose that it's a far more dangerous time now because the false prophets have, have the internet and, and, and the platform to share teaching all around the world. Uh, this week, if I assess some false prophet things, I um, was forwarded several articles online that I would say all had a false or evil spirit behind them. They were not of the spirit of God. False, false political things trying to sway people to extremes. This week, I was um, reminded again in a, in a book that I was given of a false prosperity gospel that is not real. Here's someone, that, the person who wrote this particular book is a pastor of a large church, and yet is a false prophet. That's a hard statement of condemnation. They're all around us. And we have to test to see what's real and what's not. John says, beloved, you have the spirit of God in you. So pay attention, test. And, and, and what's the test just in this passage? The, 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 the primary test, I believe, really uh, of discerning all, all things. Put it in the light of Jesus Christ. Does it confess, not just say Jesus, because we know demons can do that themselves. Does it confess Jesus? In other words, if a, if a spirit says the name of Jesus but is angry and belligerent, you know that's not Jesus. If, if a spirit teaches a gospel uh, through a human being, if a spirit teaches and you hear greed and selfishness and, 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 and self-centered teaching in the midst of Jesus, then that's not Jesus. That's not Jesus. We test spirits by asking, is this a confession of the true, real, only Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, born in the flesh, lived a sinless life, died on the cross as a substitutionary atonement for your sin and my sin. And so I'll close with this. Brothers and sisters, you have the Spirit of God in you. That's not the only spirit. So as you go about life today and this week, make sure to pay attention to the teachings around you and ask yourself, does this truly confess Christ? And if not, how then do I react to it? God bless. Let's stay with Jesus.